Welcome to the future of transportation. These are VTOL air cars, vehicles that can take off and land vertically and are set to revolutionize the way we travel. But what exactly is a flying car? Should it have wheels and be able to drive? Or is the ability to lift people into the air enough? This is definitely a new type of transportation that has yet to find the best design concepts and establish its infrastructure. We'll explore various forms of what could be called a vertical flying car in six categories. The first category is the simplest and already ready for mass production. These are two-seater multicopters, such as the Chinese Ahang 216, which made its first manned flight in 2016. The well-known Xpeng X2 and the newcomer from Turkey Aircar. These are pretty slow drones with a short flight range, designed for intracity flights. While prices have not yet been revealed, unofficial estimates put them between $150 and $200,000. With the development of mass production and competition, there's no reason the price couldn't drop to $50,000 or less, as multi-copters are much smaller and simpler than traditional cars. In the meantime, research and development are the main expense. And while these drones on steroids can replace our cars, they can hardly be called cars, since they can't be driven on the roads. Maybe just alongside skiers. The second category is also multi-copters, but with propellers built into the body, which reminds us of the cars we are used to. These are such options as the American Derony H1, Aleph Model A and Leo Coupe, the English Bellwether Oryx and the Russian Formula 2 and Bartini. The last two, despite having interesting designs and flying prototypes, have not had news for a couple of years, and the projects look abandoned or on pause. The Doroni H1 is in the final stages of development and has already received approval from the FAA. If you say that the Aeromobile has an unattractive design, I will agree with you, but the company has already announced a restyling with the name Doroni H1P2 that has not yet been revealed. The two-seater flying car promises a cruising speed of 160 km per hour and a maximum flight range of 100 km. The total weight is 840 kilograms, of which 230 is payload. Nothing is said about luggage space, but they announced a starting price of $150,000, with first deliveries at the end of 2024, beginning of 2025. The company also accepts investments from the general public, starting at $500. Another approach comes from Aleph Aeronautics, they create a truly flying car that looks almost identical to a regular one. Beneath the lattice-like structure, four full-sized wheels and eight propellers are concealed, capable of lifting the vehicle into the air. The central capsule with two passengers rotates in two planes, promising an excellent view during flight. It looks at least very unusual and may even seem improbable but the company has received over $5 million in investments and more than $40 million according to other sources, and its full-size prototype was first flown in 2019. In 2023, Aleph Aeronautics received an FAA Special Airworthiness Certificate for limited flight testing. The company is accepting pre-orders for the Model A priced at 300 grand with the first deliveries promised by the end of 2025. Model A will be able to drive up to 300 kilometers at speeds not exceeding 40 kilometers per hour limit or fly 100 kilometers at an undisclosed cruising speed, presumably around 100 kilometers per hour. The next two EV tolls are like supercars among flying cars. They have no wheels, but an attractive lifting airframe, making them more efficient in the air and enabling gliding in case of critical malfunctions. Although all VTOLs in this lineup are equipped with ballistic parachutes. Fully electric Leo Coupe, with a payload capacity of 230 kilograms, 
offers seating for three people, with the pilot in the front centre. The renderings show excellent visibility, with a glass floor and impressive performance, with a cruising speed of 300 km per hour and a range of 400 km. And all this for less than half a million dollars, with deliveries starting in 2026. This seems unbelievable, especially considering the current progress of the team. The Bellwether Oryx has tandem seating and poor visibility, but more realistic performance. Unlike Leo Coupe's 70 built-in propellers, Oryx has only four, allowing for a cruising speed of 140 km per hour and a range of 80 km. The cost is unknown and it is scheduled to enter the market in 2028. The Israeli City Hawk project stands apart. It is based on a 700 kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell power plant and even fewer propellers, only two. This propulsion system can lift a maximum weight of almost two tons. City Hawk accommodates four passengers and a pilot, all within the size of a large SUV. The maximum cruising speed is 230 kilometers per hour, with a range of 150 kilometers. But it won't be a private air car. It is planned to be used as a taxi and ambulance. And although the first manned flight of the City Hawk prototype took place back in 2003, the company promises the first deliveries no earlier than 2029. No less than others, for the role of replacing a private car for everyday use, winged multicopters are suitable, such as the Israeli Air One and the English Skyfly Axe. Yes, they can hardly be called cars, but they fly better than others. Wings generate about two-thirds of the lift during horizontal flight, and they take up not much more space than other multicopters, with both companies promising the ability to fold the wings for transportation or storage. And both companies are already accepting pre-orders, with delivery at the end of 2024 for Air One and in 2025 for Skyfly Axe. The base price of Skyfly Axe on the official website is listed at £150,000. And this is without a parachute and factory assembly, whatever that means. But it looks like a must-have feature, which ultimately gives a total price of £190,000 or $240,000. In 2022, the price of Air One was voiced at $150,000 with hundreds of pre-orders worldwide. In 2024, you can find the price of $350,000 Australian dollars, which is just equal to the price of Skyfly, about $240,000 and looks more believable. Because this Evtol is much cooler than Skyfly Axe and then light multicopters like Ehang and Xpeng, for which there are many where you can find the price of $300,000. Skyfly Axe has a peak power of 280 kilowatts, providing a maximum takeoff weight of 650 kilograms, of which only 170 is allocated for the weight of the crew. Air One is two times more powerful. 575 kilowatts. It was tested at a flight weight of 1,100 kilograms. 250 is allocated for a useful load. But behind the unattractive design of Skyfly Axe lies the ability to take off from a short runway, which, together with the optional electric hybrid power plant, should give a longest range in class of up to 480 kilometers. This is not an advertisement, but my choice among this entire list would be the Air One, because it has everything you need to replace a personal car. Safety. It is a quadrupled energy redundancy multicopter capable of gliding, plus a ballistic parachute in the base. Easy to control with just one joystick. And don't worry, these are not rudder pedals for your controls, but just folding steps for easy entry. This design also provides phenomenal visibility. Cruising speed is 160 km per hour, and the maximum is an impressive 250. 
The flight range is approximately 150 kilometers, which allows for intercity flights with possible stopovers, during which the aircraft can be charged from 20 to 80% in half an hour. Behind each of the seats, there is a luggage space that can accommodate even a small travel suitcase. All of this is presented in a rather simple but delightfully beautiful design that is pleasing to the eye. And the ability to manually fold Air One in five minutes makes it possible to use this aircraft for recreational purposes in the near future, while urban infrastructure and regulation of a new type of transport are developing. In the coming years, Few cities will allow to fly such Evitol car, but it can be taken on a trailer to uncrowded places for an enjoyable flying experience. And to this request, the Chinese Xpeng company proposed its design concept, two-in-one modular flying car. The ground module carries the air module, which automatically detach and connect. While this is just a concept, the real solution to this challenge is Xpeng's flying car with a foldable flight system, capable of transforming from a car into a multi-copter at the touch of a button. Among others, this vehicle deserves the title of a flying car, as it allows you to feel confident on the road and take off vertically when needed. No specific characteristics have been announced yet, but such a bulky design is unlikely to offer long or fast flight in fully electric version. But it certainly provides a wow effect. Having wings in the trunk of a two-seater car is far more impressive than a set of glasses and an umbrella. Xpeng X3 won't hit the market until around 2030, but it's already flying. A prototype weighing almost two tons was tested. Most likely, at the current level of technology, Many will still prefer to have separate vehicles for movement by air, road or water, which are better adapted to each of the elements. But it's strange that no one has yet proposed a flying submarine. Aska A5 is also an eVTOL transformer capable of driving on public roads. However, this design is closer to an airplane and is focused on efficient flight, which seems to be more logical, although it looks freakier. For example, Joby is already making trial commercial flights in New York, taking off and landing in specially designated areas shared with helicopters. But after landing, you need to solve the issue of the last mile to get to your destination. The transformation of Aska solves this problem, allowing with the current infrastructure to quickly travel from door to door in one seat. The vehicle, about the size of a van, according to unofficial sources, is capable of driving at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Aska transforms into a VTOL aircraft with huge wings that enable short takeoff and landing mode. The cruise speed is the highest so far, 240 kilometers per hour. It can be fully electric or hybrid electric with a maximum range of 400 kilometers and the possibility of being filled at local automotive gas stations. The price is stated at $790,000, with deliveries to the first customers planned for 2026, as well as plans for an on-demand ride-sharing service. Comparable in cost and flight range with two-seater helicopters, these Jet Optera and Manta significantly exceed them in speed and, most importantly, have several times lower operating cost. Combined with ease of control, lower noise levels and more compact size, this makes them superior rivals to light helicopters. The Italian fighter-like vehicle Manta An-2 has a tandem seat configuration and it's also challenging to call it a car at this point. However, it is capable of replacing and surpassing a private car in terms of functionality, transporting two people significantly faster. Worth noting, its wingspan is 6.8 meters, which is smaller than Air One's 7.5 meters. Since the latter is in the list, why not include Manta here as well? It could be in the same category next to winged multi-copters in terms of design, 
but in terms of technical specifications, it is crucially distant. Capable of being all-electric, initially this VTOL aircraft will use a hybrid electric scheme, allowing it to cover distances of up to 800 kilometers when Manta operates in very short takeoff and landing mode. The Jetoptera stands out among other VTOLs with its unique fluidic propulsion system integrated into a novel airframe. The gas generator pushes compressed air through small aerodynamically directed slits, just like Dyson hair dryers. The exhaust gases entrain and accelerated ambient air. The maximum lifting weight of two-seater is 900 kilograms with a payload of 180 kilograms. Cruise speed is 320 kilometers per hour and range is 560 kilometers. The company is planning an entire family of VTOLs and STOLs around this design and collaborates with the US military in developing a new generation of aircraft. With a powerful enough engine, Jetoptera estimates the potential of their propulsion system to reach a maximum speed of almost 1,000 kilometers per hour. An electric compressor with batteries can also be used as an air generator. However, such an energy source will not be practical until the battery density reaches 1,500 watt-hour per kilogram. Currently, we are still below the 400 mark. Jetoptera has raised over $10 million in investments, including crowdfunding, and still accepts investments starting from just $100. A unique breed of airmobile with cyclic propulsors is being developed by companies such as the Austrian Cyclotech and the Russian Institute of Thermophysics, although again, there is no information from the latter for a long time. Cyclocopter is the most maneuverable type of aircraft with a small footprint, capable of instantly changing the thrust vector and compensating for gusts of wind, providing the greatest comfort. And even if it looks the most futuristic in our top, the idea of the Cyclogiro goes back to the times of the first flights and the initial attempts at taking off. Neither in 1909 nor in 1927 was it possible to take off. But now many enthusiasts assemble such drones from improvised means. In order to be useful for human transportation, the technology places great demands on the lightness and strength of materials and is still in the early stages of its maturity. The all-electric air car of the future, Cruise Up, offers a top speed of about 150 km per hour and a range of 100 km. and the absolute record holder for the top flying cars is the Tesla Roadster. Why not? This vertical takeoff electric car is already completing its fifth lap around the sun, demonstrating uncompromising range and speed. In this video, we have omitted ultralight VTOL vehicles. If you are interested in the topic of single-seat air cars that don't even require a license to fly, welcome to the previous video.